The third challenge that we face is staying competitive in a rapidly shifting economic environment. Our planning decisions over the last generation have created unprecedented prosperity here, and we've benefited by having a disproportionate share of businesses choose Arlington as their home. Today, other localities are learning from us and making smarter planning decisions themselves. The Silver Line is bringing rail to Tyson's and beyond. DC is revitalizing and creating new office markets. Meanwhile, the federal government is putting lease limits on federal tenant space that disadvantage Arlington's properties. The regional demand for office space is also being reduced by federal gov government budget shenanigans and uncertainty, coupled with increased teleworking and more firms using hoteling where there is open shared workspace and less square footage per person. The changing workplace means that even as we see job growth, we may not see a large demand for office space. As chair in 2005, we had a full frontal assault from the Defense Department's base realignment and closure, BRAC, recommendations. It was a shock. We saved, in the end, one key agency, yet Arlington was hit harder than any community in the nation, losing 17,000 jobs over the next 10 years. In response, we took charge of our future and created a vision for a new, more dynamic, an appealing Crystal City. BRAC losses continue, but we have shown resilience to a challenge that would have crippled many communities. I was also chair, another reminiscence, uh, when 2001, when we were struck by a terrorist attack. Along with the challenge to our psyche, there was a tangible threat to our economy, often forgotten as National Airport was shut down. It was unclear whether it would ever reopen. That airport is a major anchor to our local and regional economy. We fought hard, developed a public-private coalition, advocated at the highest levels, and our airport reopened. The point is that Arlington has amazing assets that will continue to be a fundamental part of our economic strength. Our location is not going to change. National Airport and the Pentagon are not going anywhere. And our outstanding transportation system, smart growth policies, great schools, and creative class workforce will be protected and enhanced. We have already shown that when challenged, we can step up, remain, and remain the best place in America to start and grow a business. We've already taken some steps, and this year we will do more. So, I plan, we plan, to lay the groundwork for Arlington to become a hub for the innovation economy, the 21st century economy of flexible, creative enterprises and high-tech services. I have personally always described Arlington as a great place to do business. This government strives to give great customer service. Not long ago, we overhauled and greatly improved our building permitting process. Our small business initiative and biz launch have helped businesses establish themselves and thrive. Recently, my board colleagues and I joined the county manager's listening tour with representatives of small and large businesses throughout Arlington. Our goal was to learn about their experiences in dealing with county government and hear their suggestions. We learned that they love our community and they value the business opportunities that are here. We heard that we can do more to streamline processes, improve predictability, and even improve customer service. My goal is to ensure that county government facilitates new business creation and expansion. Here is a six-point plan that may grow to the traditional 10-point plan by the end of the year, but we'll start with six. One to target university and corporate and federal science agency partnerships. Arlington is uniquely positioned as the home for early stage, technology, product-oriented startups 
with the potential to sell those products to the federal government, particularly in the area of national security. The Roslyn Balsam Corridor is approaching a critical mass of science, technology, art, research, and education. In 2014, we will accelerate the growth of that ecosystem of startup technology product companies through a new public-private partnership funded by $700,000 in combined state funds and county matching funds. Two, we'll strengthen our partnerships. The board will work to strengthen communications and partnerships with, between the county government, businesses, entrepreneurs, and the residents by fostering an atmosphere of cooperation and mutual respect. Three, we'll engage in aggressive business development. We'll focus on strategically marketing Arlington to businesses and developers nationally and internationally. Four, we'll update our retail action plan. We established the initial plan for first floor retail in my early years on the board, and it's time for a refresh. The update will be expanded to areas beyond the Roslyn Boston Corridor and will strengthen support and opportunities for small businesses and retailers. Five, we'll work with our commissions. The board relies heavily on the guidance and efforts of many talented, dedicated residents who serve in our county commissions. The Planning Commission has a unique and essential role, and I want to support its efforts to find efficiencies and improvements in its own procedures. And six, we'll be flexible where possible. One area for study involves our largest malls. Both Boston Mall and Fashion Center are planning major makeovers that will be good for them and good for the community, and they'll need our help.